Mobile broadband networks are now essential to our new connected economies. Leading wireless vendor Ericsson is using the year-long Volvo Ocean Global Yacht Race to showcase its latest solutions, as well as creating a live media environment by having an embedded reporter on one of the crews, sending back daily text and video stories. Earlier this week, I visited the start of the race, the Spanish coastal town of Alicante. On Saturday, eight of the fastest yachts ever built will set sail from Spain on the start of a mammoth round-the-world race. But they won't complete the course until June next year, when they cross the finish line in St. Petersburg, Russia. The Volvo Ocean Race is the premier round-the-world uh, fully crewed yacht race. What we have applied is our knowledge and expertise in how can you bring this very rich content, the, the drama, the adventure, from the race course and bring that straight into the hands of the consumers. As well as entering two boats in this year's race, Ericsson is using the competition to showcase the latest in its communications technology. We're living in an internet generation and the speed of innovation and the speed of creativity has accelerated more than perhaps we can ever imagine. And the way that you develop the best solutions is by developing them in the marketplace with the audience and interacting and getting feedback in a live setting. In the Volvo Ocean Race Media Organization, they're making a total production. They want to capture the emotion of the total race and distribute that in a, in a very consolidated professional way. And we work directly inside there to extend it to the next generation multimedia channels. In 2007, we viewed 35,000 consumers in 11 countries. And what we're asking them is, what, they, what are they doing with video? Because video actually drives bandwidth demand. And what we're finding is that consumers will actually use quite a lot of video in the sense of several times a week, 30% of them will be downloading, downloading video clips, movies, uh, sharing video of some sort. The current um, versions of HSP are actually running at around 7.2 megs in the UK. The actual HSPA roadmap itself goes all the way up beyond 40 megabits per second with developments in technology that we can see at the moment and possibly up to 80 beyond that. We're finding that a lot of consumers are actually buying it just for simplicity. We thought it would originally, originally be bought by road warriors, people out on, on the road doing business, um, executives, but in fact probably about 80% of mobile broadband is actually being bought by regular people at home. HSPA has been deployed today, but true multimedia speeds are not far away once LTE technology comes to market. LTE will take us on to something like 160 megabits per second. What we're actually doing is rolling out production LTE base stations at the end of next year. So it's probably in 2010 that you'll actually start to see user services coming through. Of course, LTE is only another stepping stone to a world where all communications access could well be wireless. Later this month, the ITU will receive proposals for its IMT Advanced Standard, otherwise known as 4G. But don't hold your breath, because commercial rollout won't occur until 2011 at the earliest. Until then, we'll have to make the best out of 3G.